guys, this is the my Toodles. Hey Toodles, it is Tuesday. Yes, yeah, it's Tuesday. I'm kind of disappointed we didn't get the grocery ads today, but oh well. And it's time for blah, 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 Tuesday. Alright guys, very good Tuesday as well. No mail today. I didn't get no mail, no grocery ads, no nothing. I'm very, very excited. Yay! I got to finish it. Why? I was eating popcorn. And guess what I'm making? Okay. If you are new to my channel, just a big air hug. Welcome. I love all you guys. So, thank you all for subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. My dog is about to go drive me crazy. Oh, I just hit my heel on my chair. Anyway, getting into this video, I just got to, I've seen this movie a billion times. I just got to watching a good movie that I recorded yesterday I wanted to see. And it's called Prayers for Bobby. If you have not seen that movie, it's a lifetime movie. Go check it out. I'm sure you can probably find it on Amazon or somewhere to to watch the movie Prayers for Bobby. It is sad and it's understandable. Um, in the movie, the boy comes out and his mom's setting him up on a date with a girl. And they start dating and become boyfriend and girlfriend for a while. And then finally, he kisses her. And they're kissing hot and heavy. And then, she tells him, knock it off! Anyway, she tells him that she wants to take their relationship to the next level. And basically, you know what that is. She wants sex. I know this is not about sex. It's about something else. So, he says, no. She goes, okay, fine. We'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait till you're ready. He goes, I'm breaking up with you. This is not what I want at all. So, come to find out he is gay and he's in love with boys and not women. He comes forth and he tries to explain it to his mother and his father, but before he explains it to mom and dad, he tells his oldest brother, he says, I'm not the same, I'm different. He, Wanted to swallow a whole bunch of pills and commit suicide, but and thought that would take away the pain and the problem, and he didn't do it because he said it's a sin from God. God doesn't want you to commit suicide. He went on and on and on, and he told his brother what was up. And his brother talked to his mom about it. His mom didn't like it. She was taking the Bible, and I'm going to just say this is the Bible, and she was taking the Bible away. Even Adam reading verses out of the Bible saying being homosexual is a sin. Well, I know in the Bible it doesn't say men with men and women with women. Okay. And as my husband would go around and say, if you're gay, you're going to go to hell. Okay. If you're bisexual, if you don't mind, if you're not a man and a woman together, then you're going to go to hell. If you're man and man together, you're going to hell. If you're woman and woman together, you're going to go to hell. Okay. That's the way my husband believes it. It's a sin to be like that. Half of my family is gay. I've got some cousins that are like that. Like that. It doesn't bother me. My best friend is that way and it doesn't bother me. I'm not the type of person to judge somebody for who they are. Now... I did have a friend, and one of my good friends told me about her because she had lived with her for a while with her ex. And, of course, she's married somebody different now. She's not with the person. She's with somebody else. But she told me her roommate, and her name was Cindy, was going around, my pussy hurts, my pussy hurts, my pussy hurts, my pussy hurts. Saying that is her way of saying if she don't get sex, 
or pussy slam her. That's that. Okay, I'm sorry, but that's that. You want sex from somebody, whether it's a woman or a man. If you're a woman and you want sex from another woman, that's fine. You know, what I think is a woman knows how to treat a woman better than a man knows how to treat a woman. And it's like a man knows how to treat a man better than a woman knows how to treat a man. But let me tell you something. If you watched last, um, this, I think it was not this past Sunday, but Sunday before last when I was talking about cheaters. Okay, and other things. Getting on Facebook. Um, I have like five guys right now sent me a message on TikTok. Hey, beautiful. Hey, gorgeous. Hi, how are you? Basically, that's what. Oh, I love your beautiful picture. You're so gorgeous. Have I responded to any of them? No. Do I care? No. I am happily taken, so I'm not going to talk to another man. I'll talk to girls. I don't care if the girls at last minute thinks I'm sexy and hot. I'm going to talk to her as a friend and nothing more. My deal is, if you love a woman, and you are a woman, and you like girls, to each is on. That is your priority. If you are a man and you prefer the company of another man, and that makes you more happier than having a woman with some big jokes, which, not bad, okay. And, you know, when you prefer a long slong slong, that's your priority. This is Gay Pride Month, and my best friend and I, Every year, we would always go to Gay Pride, and then we stopped going to Gay Pride, and I miss going to Gay Pride, because you get free condoms, free beads, free gifts, free things. Oh my God, so much free stuff. And then my husband gives me money to go get something to eat and drink, and I miss it. Um, we also went to Rainbow on the Green. I went that once with my best friend and her, her wife. And, oh my God, it was so perfect. I recorded some of it. I did post some of it. I do have some of it on my on my YouTube channel here. From when I went, I do have a little bit. I think I have some of Gay Pride on here. I'm not for sure. But, it is so good. So, I don't care what you like. Whether you like a guy or a girl. It doesn't matter to me what you like. Cause I really don't care. If one of my kids came up to me and said, Mom, I'm gay. Okay. So be it. I'm not going to be like she was in the movie. And get that Bible and say, blah, 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 And try to get my son to turn straight. Because that would be wrong. Or my stepdaughter to be straight. I know at one time my stepdaughter says, Oh, I'm gay. I like women. And my cousin said, Sweetheart, you don't even know what gay is. She goes, I've had sex with a woman. I said, girl, you don't even know what gay is. Now, for all you that are straight out there and that have a girlfriend or a boyfriend or a wife or a husband, some guys love it when their wife has it with another woman. Okay? And some guys... Some women like it if their man has another man with them. That's their prerogative. I preach every day. I preach and I pray every day to make my life stronger. I've told my best friend a little secret. And I'm, the secret's going to come out. I do like guys. Don't get me wrong. But I told my best friend, I said, you know what? If my husband was to die right now, I don't think I could go look for another man. I might look for a woman. Who knows? I may not look for nobody. I know there's some guys out there that think I'm sexy hot, but I think they just want me because I've got big jugs and I look okay. I'm not the prettiest girl in the whole wide world. I'm sure in the hell I ain't no Pamela Anderson. And I'm not a hot, hot woman that guys want to drool over. Most of the 
time when guys want to talk to me and say something to me on TikTok or Facebook, they're usually older, ugly men. So come on, guys, if you're ugly, don't. If you don't look like my husband, cute and gorgeous, uh, you ain't going to have my heart. I have another friend, friends from school when I was going to school. Then these people used to go around and they would tell guys, oh, you can go out with Christina as long as you got a car, money, and a dick. Wrongo! Money, I don't care about. Having a car, yes, because I'm not going to sit here and carry seven bags of groceries from Kroger's all the way to my house. I've done it before. I'm not going to do it again. And I don't like liars and I don't like cheaters. And there was a guy on TikTok one time that, that was sending me a message and he said, go, add me on Hangout. So we started talking on Hangout. And everything was cool. He said, can I call you my girl? I said, no. He said, why? I said, because I'm married. He goes, and? He said, I could be your TikTok boyfriend. I said, TikTok boyfriend? No. He said, but why? I said, I don't want a boyfriend. I don't want a girlfriend. I don't want nothing. And like the guy that used to live around here that had a crush on me, I told this guy the same thing I told him. Until you see these rings off my finger? Or you see me sitting here waving divorce papers? I ain't hooking up with nobody. And I'm saying now, I'm not hooking up with nobody. After my husband goes, that's it. I don't want another man. I don't want nothing. I want to be able to spend more time with my grandbaby than another man or anybody else. My best friend and I might get a place together and live together. That's fine. I have my room. She has her room. Quote, unquote. Like I said before, I played in the minors, but never went pro. My grandson is more important than anything in this world. And my son knows it. I hardly get to see my grandkid because they live in Huntsville and I'm in the port and I don't want to go see my grandbaby and sit in their bedroom and just sit in the bedroom because their roommate wants to sleep on the couch because they have a one-bedroom apartment. They need a bigger place. Or they need to say, hey, Mom, how about you and Pat come down here and we go to Dairy Queen or we go to Wendy's and go somewhere and get something to eat and visit with Kai. I would love to go to a McDonald's or something. Or even a, I don't like Burger King, but I'd go to Burger King if it had a playground so I could play a on the playground with my grandson and take pictures. Let them take pictures of me and Kyle on the playground. I would love it. I would love to, to get a picture at the playground with my daughter-in-law here. My daughter-in-law here, my son here, and my grandbaby in the middle. And they smile sitting on a slide. Or by a slide and him sitting up and taking a picture of that. I would love that. That is a family album. A family photo and that would be adorable i would like to get a picture of me my husband and my grandson that would be cute you know i want things and it is hard to get it so on top of this if you are gay i love you i love you no matter who you are or what you are i don't care what anybody says black lives matter Gay lives matter too. And yeah, they want to do public bathrooms where if you're transgender and if you're a guy dressed up as a girl, you can go in the girl's bathroom. If you're a girl dressed up as a guy, you can go in the guy's bathroom. Let me tell you something about that one. I don't think it's appropriate. And I'll tell you why, and y'all probably will agree with me on this one. I'm going to use... these right here as an example this is a kid this is a grown man and this is a grown woman this kid we're going to say is a little boy so the little boy goes into the boy's bathroom and this man goes in there wearing 
a dress. Dressed up as a woman. Goes in to the boys' bathroom. Okay. Well, let's just say this man goes into the bathroom. He's, you know, he likes little boys. He's gay. He likes little boys. He's not trans. He don't dress. He's not trans. But he goes in there and he dresses. He's dressed up in a man's suit. He goes in the boys' bathroom. It's a little boy, but he's gay. I'll put the woman aside for a second. So a little boy comes out of the bathroom, scared shitless and crying, because a gay man raped him. Got to think about that, guys. I would hate to see a young kid get raped in the bathroom if a gay person went in there. So I would say, if you are gay, please don't touch the little girls and little boys. I don't care. If you're transgender, they want to make a transgender bathroom for transgender to go by themselves for transgender. I know in Huntsville, I believe it's Huntsville. Well, anyway, or Conroe. Conroe. Sorry, it's Conroe. Willis. No, not Conroe. Willis, Texas. It's in Willis. Not Conroe. Willis. Excuse me. It's in Willis, Texas. They have a Kroger's and they have a bathroom there. That is mainly for transgender. And I walked into that bathroom and used that bathroom. Because I didn't know. I thought woman's bathroom. Like woman's bathroom here. Men's bathroom over here. Because I've seen the men's bathroom but I didn't. You know and I'm like okay. And they got a changing table in this in this transgender bathroom. And I went in there. When I came out. This guy he says. You should be shot. I said excuse me. My husband looked at me, looked at him and said, why should my wife be shot? Because she went in the trench in the bathroom, she's gay. I said, I'm not gay, I'm married to him. He said, well, the woman's bathroom's right here. I said, I didn't see that, I saw this one and I had to pee so bad. I was about to piss myself. He goes, well, I'm sorry for what I said. I said, yeah, you better be. You don't want to mess with me. And things were changed. And I said, you got a problem with gay people? And he said, yeah, I don't like them. I said, well, my best friend's married to a woman. My cousins are married to women. My cousin married a man. I said, I have friends that are married to women on TikTok. I said, you're wrong for what you said. And I got mad at him. And the whole way going up to my son's. House, I was so so pissed. I just wanted to, but I didn't. So I'm happy with it. So for those who are new to my channel, just a big hello, welcome, big air hugs. If you are whatever you are, no color, no matter what color you are, you can be green and purple polka dots, and I will still love you no matter what. So I love you guys, and that is it for this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you like videos like this. Bye, guys.